Well, this is the Cream of Clapton tour, and we started in Vancouver and uh, worked our way down the West Coast um, and culminated in a show in San Diego where we played with um, Nathan East, who is Eric's long-term bass player, and also the father of Noah East, who is the keyboard vocalist in the band. And we also have Dylan Elise on drums, and he is the current drummer for the band Blood, Sweat and Tears. And Steve Ball, multi-instrumentalist and vocalist, is, is playing bass. Oh, our um, our manager uh, reached out to uh, Noah and um, and put him and also the drummer Dylan uh, in touch with uh, Steve Ball and myself. Steve and I were playing last year in the music of Cream, so we've toured together before. Um, and uh, and we all met last year in LA and played together and uh, shot some videos and jammed and stuff um, in, uh, I think it was June of last year. Yeah, it's been really, really fun. Um, of course, it's great playing Eric's music. The songs are so great. And, um, I mean, it's been more fun in the States, obviously, because uh, the audiences um, are um, a little bit less reserved and they're happy to get up and have a dance or sing along. And uh, so we've been enjoying it, yeah. Well, on this particular tour, we're focusing on the, what was called the Heaven Band, which was uh, the era from the sort of late 80s early 90s when the band featured Phil Collins on drums and Greg Fillingames on keys and uh, um, Nathan East of course on bass as well as Eric so it was like a four-piece band so obviously we're a four-piece band um, kind of doing you know um, quite a few songs from that era and uh, and then also, you know, quite a few of the Cream songs as well. So that's um, that's the main focus of the tour right now. I'm sure that in um, in future tours there'll be different um, different eras or different albums um, explored. There's you know plenty of potential, like you said. There's a a huge catalogue spanning over 50 years. Yeah. Um, that is something that we do. We do play it, um, play it our own way while still respecting the music and, uh, you know, doing some of the arrangements that, um, you know, that he had at the time way back then. Yeah, well, um, you know, when um, after I'd met Noah and we had the idea to do this, you know, then, um, you know, I was slightly concerned about, you know, what would Eric think that... Um, that, that we were doing that and, um, you know, maybe he'd prefer we didn't do that or, you know, maybe he'd say, well, you should be um, focusing on doing your own music, why you want to play my music or something like that, which, um, which of course, I'm doing as well. I'm actually working on my own, my own solo album at the moment, which is called Yin and Yang. And the details of that will be upcoming on my website, which of course is just willjohns.com. But um, Eric and I went fishing last year and he said to me, oh, I hear you're going on tour with uh, Nathan's son playing my music. And so, you know, I wasn't for a second there, I wasn't quite sure, you know. So I asked him, you know, is, is, is that okay? Are you down with that? And he said, yeah, I'm honored that you're doing that. So that was really great to have his support and to know that he was pleased that we were doing it. Yeah, that was Crossroads. Yeah. Well, you know, he showed me the first part of Crossroads and after I'd figured that out, I asked him, how does the next bit go? And uh, he told me I had to figure that out myself. So uh, that kind of put me on the path of how to listen to music and try and figure figure out how things go myself and you know and uh, that set me up you know in good stead to uh, 
to figure out more music and, and learn other things that I wanted to play from by listening to them. Um, I taught myself how to play guitar, even though that he showed me that first riff that just kind of put me on the path. Well, we end up we have a uh, inter, sort of slightly interactive um, projection going on behind us in the show. Um, we start the show with um, Tampura sound, which uh, relates um, to um, it's a little nod to my auntie Patty. She was obviously married to George Harrison at the Beatles before she married Eric, and uh, she was responsible for introducing transcendental meditation to the Western world and the Beatles, of course. So um, so it's just a little nod to India. So we start the show and I play. I went to India just last year and uh, learned a ragna, which, um, you know, would normally be played on the sitar, but I play it on the guitar and um, that's how we start the show. And, um, and then, um, you know, it is two hours of um, Clapton classics. And um, you know, by the middle of the of the second set, if we are doing two sets, you know, everybody should be on their feet and bouncing around. Yeah, if um, you know, if you're thinking about coming to the show and not sure, then you should definitely come along. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it's next generation putting a little bit of a twist um, while still keeping the music pure and staying true and. Uh, and we all just get on down and party and have a great time. And uh, we'd love to see you there. Um, website is the cream of Clapton Band dot com, and uh, it's the same on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to see you. All.